Welcome back to Nordhagen, and today we're going to build a house from a bus. Let's get building! Welcome back to the channel, Gaming for XP. I hope you are well, and we're back in Nordhagen today. Um, this footage was taken from the live build that I did quite a while ago. Um, I just recently posted the tour of Stonehagen, but this was much earlier in the build in fact it was one of the first things we did so i thought i would share it with you um pretty unique little build and something a little bit different that you might um think about doing with one of these buses and um, you can see i'm using the gray bus this time to uh, as opposed to the yellow one seems to have a little bit more room in it for some reason and um what I generally like to do with my settlements these days is I generally like to make all these building design elements part of the overall kind of defensive structure of any particular settlement. A little bit of frame rate drop there, wow. Um, so generally what I do is I'll, um, I'll add the buildings along the boundary and then I'll fill the rest in with the fences or um, rubbish or whatever. So that's kind of what I've been... Um, doing lately and it, it works very well fences you know as some of you would know are just um a, they don't really do much as far as the game goes um the raiders that are going to come into the settlement will still spawn in the settlement whether you've got a, a defensive wall around or not so this is a little stairway you get with uh, the g2m mod nice little um nice little stairway and it's perfect for this build because i want to make this a uh, over a couple of levels, thought I'd make it a little bit different rather than just ha have a bus dropped in a field and um, and decorate inside. So I do like doing multi-level um, builds, as a lot of you would know. So this is perfect, and things will just snap off of this quite easily. There are railings to go on the stair, um, which I'll put in a little bit later. Um, just having a good look around and. Um, move on with the next part of the build so the inspiration for the build and also the inspiration for the whole settlement i, I was uh, i wanted to build a commune or an alternative lifestyle um, kind of settlement and um, when i was researching um kind of communes and whatnot on, on the internet on google and whatnot i found a picture of a bus with a with a house on top of it so that, hence why i was inspired to do something kind of a bit left of center if you like um these houses from gtm this is a pretty new um pretty new i addition to g2m these green buildings that you find in sunshine tidings and again with communes and those kind of settlements they generally have a little bit of color and that was throughout this whole build if you've seen the tour you would have noticed there is a pops of color and it was a real challenge to um to find pops of color to to add through the building material so this is one way that we decided to do it now you see i'm using the roof from the warehouse tab you can use the one from either the warehouse tab or the barn tab to do this it fits perfectly on this little house there i did line that up and when i done the anti-shimmer it's just dropped back so i'll have to fix that a little bit later Unfortunately, it hasn't done this for a while, but it is raining. I think this is, must have been before I had the clear weather mod on my game. So, some uh, rain and just a little um, kind of balcony porch area, which is kind of multifunctional because it's, I mean, it's not going to keep the rain off because it's kind of got, um, it's kind of see-through, but uh, at the same time, it looks all right and, and you can walk up and get up onto the next level. So I'm just chop, dropping pillars in here just to make it look as though it's supported. Um, it's up a little bit. There we go. And um, yep, starting to come together really nicely. So let's put some um, railing supports in here um, just to uh, make it look robust. Now, one thing I did find about these boxing ring fences, they actually, there's a couple of things. They actually have no f uh, detection, so you can actually fall through these. And they don't actually support anything, any weight. And the other thing is, once you put them in, you can't move them. Um, so I've stopped using 
up the cure railing system and um, because I ended up I could not move I could in the end I could not move that one I accidentally dropped in there okay going on pretty well um, we're doing pretty well what I like to do with these houses is just use the uh, window boards just to board them up like that this gives them that kind of um, rundown look let's get rid of some of the um, brambles here okay on to the next part so I thought I'd make it look a little bit more homely put a little bit of a fence around it just to define it a little bit more um, I'm lucky enough I've got these uh, fences that match the ones at um, North Hagen. Thank you to Workshop Rearranged for that. And uh, so we'll just drop these fences in so it all looks as though it should be there. And um, create a little outside area here as well. But it just frames it and makes it look as though it's somebody's house uh, or somebody's property rather than just leave it um, empty if you like. The other thing is because we're able to use this fence that's similar to the one that's here it just makes it all blend in nicely um, with that area where they're growing the food so here we go so far so good. Um, a lot In this build I like to keep a lot of the elements that are already there so the grasses and stuff I think it actually adds to the overall look of the settlement and the overall look uh, of the fact that somebody has just abandoned a bus there settlers have come along and decided just to build something using what was already there so as i've said in the past i do spend a lot of time before i build in the settlement just running around having a look at the immediate area and just seeing what kind of things have been left around um, and then use them within the settlement just to try and um, make the whole thing look just a little bit more convincing for that particular part of the commonwealth that you're building in here i'm just going to use a um, one of the fence poles i like to do this a lot and um, is just to drop these down a little bit into the sand um, just to make it them look as though they've been there for a little bit of time got a little bit of little fire here and that's a you know an outside area a little campfire you can sit around um, maybe not today because it's raining and we'll fix that in a second and again when you're building something like this these are always good kind of boxes and barrels and that kind of stuff are always good just to sell the overall look of the place barrels are also very good just moving forward oh bright light bright light um i don't I'm sure you don't want to spend half an hour watching me decorate the outside of the bus so we're going to do move on with the building component of this and when I initially looked at this all I was going to do was put that house on the top and, and we were done but the more I looked at it the more I kind of thought well um, there's scope for building even more on top of there just to try and even it out because it doesn't look completely even at this point these um, these fight me a little bit these um, there you go eventually we will get to snap on these railings um, if not we'll convince them into place here we go just like that and um, pretty good uh, pretty good mod gtm if you haven't um, used gtm before you're thinking about you might want to try i have a mod review on the channel which i'll leave a link to unfortunately as soon as i've done the mod review the mod updated substantially so i've got to go back and do an update on that but it'll give you a feel for what gtm mod actually offers a great little mod use it a lot in a lot of my builds we're just going to use a standard rail in there and we're looking okay so i do this a lot i stand back see what it looks like and then try and figure out what else we can do with this particular build and I think what I'm going to do is put a couple of floors down. Here we go. And the fact that I've already put a floor down, things should just snap off of this nicely. Um, and we can start to build maybe a little um, entertaining area up the top here. So that will just snap straight to that. And the fact that I do put this uh, floor in means I have to put a step up, which actually... Um, 
correct an issue where I had with that fencing um, that I showed you before, that railing that's stuck there. Here we go. So you can see there's a it's a fair high up. So I've got to find a way of getting up there. Some kind of stairway uh, or some kind of stairway solution. So um, what I end up doing is doing this. And you can see that although that railing is now poking up, it's no longer an issue for me. So um, we'll just drop the stairs, the standard stairs down now. I should have done a double stairs because I noticed in the final walkthrough that I did a, a little while ago with the tour that that was uh, these stairs are floating. So I really need to go back and fix that. Probably do it before we do the final um, the final tour. But of course, as usual, simple things fight you in the game, uh, but we'll get it in eventually. There you go. See for a second, there it goes. It's teasing me now. <laughs> Come on, in you go. There we go. So I need to put another one there because that's actually sitting floating. But that's okay. Obviously, I got distracted with something else and um, forgot to come back to that to fix it. But that happens. Put another railing in there. You should just, there we go, snap right into there. And you can see that's floating there. So I will fix that before I do the final tour. And you can see that's fixed up whole thing with the um, railing. So I'm going to cut out some major, major faffing. Again, um, just put various um, railings around here and, and just, you know, vary them up just to give it a, a little bit of a uh, cobble together look, which is a look I've been going for a lot lately. Um, using all kind of different railings from all different mods can see that went green it, it wants to go green it's just I don't know what is with some of these railings sometimes so I'll just do this put it over there maybe spin it around see if it'll work it's spun around if not we'll persuade it into place with the uh, place anyway just like that here we go all good so this is a nice little idea I guess if you're looking for something a little bit different for your settlement um, it's not a bad idea to try and add different layers to a structure like the bus. It will help a lot. So here we go. Here's the final tour. I hope you enjoy the wee look around we're going to give you. As you can see, we put some lights on the poles there. Um, get a dog, mate. Obviously, they've been busy drinking. A little couple of boxes just to put, you know, whatever they need to when they're sitting out next to the fire having a chat. Um, just odds and ends, just to try and give it a little bit more depth. Now, dog meat gets in the way here. You can see we put the flag up on the side. We can't actually get in, but watch what happens to him. Just completely disappears. One of those weird fallout concepts. So it's quite um, intimate in here, quite cosy. Yeah, you can see it's got quite a nice little view at the window. Now, with some of these buses, what I generally do is I'd use those wall boards and board those up, but I've left them open in this one. Nice little bedroom area and uh, sitting area and living room area. Down in the bottom here, Dogmate is going to get in our way this whole build, or at least this whole tour. I've fixed up the stairs there, got an extra stair in so you can get up there comfortably. You can see this railing is, although it's across there, look, I can walk past it, it doesn't stop me moving. In here we made a little bar area, a little um, recreational area, you can come and play a little bit of checkers with the barman if you want, grab a couple of beers or whatever, your tip always. And if you want to take it outside, you can do so and just have a seat and have a look over the river, the sea, whatever it is, and up top, a little barbecue area that's heavily guarded, as it should be. And you can see Fort Strong off in the distance there, and Boston Airport off to our right. So I hope you've enjoyed this, guys. I hope it gives you a little idea for your settlement of what you can actually um, maybe put in there as a kind of base element, and then build upon 
So thanks for watching as ever, thanks for supporting the channel, and we will catch you next time in Fallout 4. See ya.